Hi everyone, I'm bringing you this week's New Science video blog. Um, unfortunately, it's not the most uplifting of stories I'm bringing to you this week. Um, it's featuring tufted puffin, which is this spectacular species relative of our puffin that you get in the North Atlantic, which has got this amazing white bandit mask and a tuft coming down over the neck, and the rest of the birds just jet black. It'd be amazing to see this species. Unfortunately, um, over the last couple of years, we've been finding hundreds washing up, if not thousands, washing up dead on beaches in the North Pacific, particularly along the Aleutian chain and near the Bering Sea. And this new science report is basically outlining why there's, there's such large numbers of these birds and other seabirds washing up dead. Um, and the root cause seems to be climate change um, and particularly warming of sea surface temperatures which are impacting their prey species um, and basically meaning they're not, enough, not getting enough food. So a lot of the birds that are washing up are emaciated, they've barely got any fat on them. Um, and they're finding that their prey that they feed on are changing, moving to sort of cooler waters um, and also just fewer of them as well. Um, and basically during the winter months, um, tufted puffins are undergoing wing molt um, and so they're actually not able to fly as far so they can't respond to this change in prey availability. Um, and the energetics of growing new feathers also has a sort of triple whammy impact on these birds that aren't being able to find enough food. Um, now I didn't, I didn't want to just have this really downhearted report, I do want to link this to something that you can do. Um, and so I wanted to draw attention to um, a really cool project that the, the RSPB launched a couple of years ago now called the Pufferazzi. Um, basically what they're, getting, um, what they're getting people to do all around the UK is um, send in any pictures people get of puffins at colonies around the coast um, that are carrying fish particularly, bringing them in to feed their chicks um, and they're basically getting people to send in images and they can identify um, both the species of these fish and also the length and um, the health and try and link that um, to what's going on out at sea and how these populations back here at home might be impacted because a lot of you might know that Atlantic puffins are actually red listed in Europe now so they're in trouble as well. Uh, but as a photographer, if you're visiting a uh, puffin colony anywhere around the UK, um, please send in your pictures to the RSPB's Pufferazzi project. Help contribute to this fantastic piece of citizen science um, or just hashtag your images with Pufferazzi um, and check out the project as well to see the results so far. It's, it's really fascinating.